Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our beloved no shot campaign where we're trying to beat the game without taking a single shot and not only that, without taking a single grenade, heavy weapon or whatever on top of it, which means we're left with melee and psionic attacks. Not much, uh, hopefully enough to get uh, Brian Alexander with us. We definitely need an engineer and I was thinking about the Recover the Resistance operative mission uh, between the last time and this time and it is the mission type where we're supposed to rescue an operative and then uh, kind of hold the position for uh, three or four rounds and that in itself is an issue because we will need enough DPS and as you may or may not remember uh, the only classes that currently have DPS are our uh, our rangers here so I am considering to bring Hawkbite along, although he's tired. I'm furthermore considering to probably build a mine shield. Uh, I was thinking about that a bit earlier, because Hawkbite with a mine shield is a pretty scary prospect to kill the, um, uh, the sectoids. And essentially, we will not lose his ability to continuously deal damage to them. So that's good. Um, totally on board with it. Uh, Scotty Patterson here will more or less just be a meat sack. Uh, we could theoretically build another, um, another, um, what is it called? Battle scanner. Yes, that's the word I was looking for. Problem with that is we're running a little bit low on supplies and I really want to uh, upgrade the armor. So I think this is kind of the team that we're going to use in order to do the mission. And if we play our cards right, we will get plenty of intel plus an engineer, meaning we can contact the next region and uh, essentially have the entire North American continent. So fantastic odds, but we need to be successful with the mission. All right, just landed. And it seems that the first pack is sort of there. Let's just move up with Diva here. Take a look. Nope, nothing. Okay. Roger that. Moving up with Zirkim. Still nothing. Roby. Okie dokie. Hawkbite. And we are definitely going to hunker down because there is no overwatch in this uh, game mode. We're only over hunkering. I know a little bit overused joke. Remember, no matter how tough things get down here, we can't evac until we complete the mission. Yeah, we got that Bradford. Thanks for letting us know. Zirkim gets a bit closer. Okay, that looks like a segregated patrol. Not too bad. No need to ask twice. See, so can moves over. Bivat can be positioned here. I'll go quickly. On it. And the only thing that we need to make sure is that we're not running into two packs at the same time. So if we can get these guys here and separate them from potential other enemies, that would be phenomenal. We saw another pack move in here. All right. I'm all over it. Uh, moving up. So far, so good. And Hogbite can be positioned up here. Of course, as long as no one is now ambushing us from behind, we're going to be fine. Uh, this here is a very nice move into our position. And now it's just a matter of really getting these clowns down. Let's start 
with killing an advent trooper. Hopefully. There we go, good job. Okay, so far so good. Uh, how about Roby continues with the onslaught? Nice, 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 very good. Hawkeye definitely needs uh, some focus. So that's plus one focus. Expanded magazine is worthless for us. Agility, on the other hand, is actually quite helpful. And we know that there is a pack over there. Probably not there. So should be okay going to into full cover and charging in. Very, very, very good. Melee vulnerability means he is... Probably going to flee. Alright, he decides to not flee. Which, okay, sure. Well, it's his choice. We put our soldiers through a lot. They'll need time to deal with these issues when we get back. No, we're not killing Zirkim. We're killing the Sectored, of course. <laughs> Perfect. Okie dokie. Uh, let's move up. Move, move, move. Go, go, go. We're going into a nice little cover position. There now. And I think there's another pack. Yeah, there must be one. We already saw kind of the movement indication. I've got movement here. Yeah, there is definitely another pack. Good, we got two entrances. Orders confirmed. On the move. Heading to that location. Copy that. And we're just moving in so that we can breach next turn. Closing here. All set. Staying put. Movement. It's close. Yeah, they might be upstairs, to be honest. It looks as if uh, the, the sound bite was uh, sort of looking as if they would be upstairs. Advent troops here. Nope, I was wrong. But that's okay. Charging in. Roby finishes the job. Good fucking job. Well done. Very nice. Oh, that's a solid hit. Uh, let's use Sirkim here in order to get this guy down. A little bit different uh, game experience when <laughs> everybody is just blatantly charging in. Alright, very good. Uh, we're going to parry. And we're going to hunger down. Yeah, I figured we would be seeing some stasis. Can't parry stasis, it's just too good of a crowd control, really. There we go. I should teach you a lesson. If we were to hold position after freeing this guy, I'd probably say like up here is a good spot. Solid copy. Gives us very solid agency to go across the entire map. Affirmative. Moving 
Moving to position. Already there. All right, Hogbide moves up here. And we're very soon going to get the VIP. Overall, yeah, I mean, I can see a lot of places where they could drop. There will be two landing uh, or dropping zones regularly. I could definitely see one kind of being here or here. And the other one on this side, either here or here. That's just my guess from kind of knowing the game. Let's see if I was right. Closing on target position now. Looks like they called in backup. Well, that's a pretty interesting spot for reinforcements. VIP identity confirmed. Firebrand is setting up for evac. We've got multiple contacts. I like this one here because we can close the doors. Hold your ground. We can close the doors. No need to ask twice. And just fight them over there. Moving to designated coordinates. Right, hop by it. And, you know, let's try to block them so that they can't even run anywhere but further into the room. Um, that's a smart idea, hopefully. Now they can only either run to here or down to this room. Unfortunately, we don't have the good old blade storm yet. Yeah, that worked out like a charm. Wonderful. More of them coming in. Let's start with completely obliterating these guys. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Very nice. Good riddance. Got a promotion on Divat. Just keeping that in mind. We're going to keep one soldier here to continuously kind of open and close the door. There we go. Line of sight is gone, which means these guys need to like move all the way up here, which is fantastic. And we're going to position ourselves here in order to make it more likely that they are going to run into the different direction. I wish I could do any overwatch but that would be a pistol shot so no 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 Sykes not going to do that Well, it seems as if the reinforcements slowly but surely begin to die out. I'm, of course, terribly sorry to hear that. that is not good. Are you serious? <laughs> 
Miss and minimum damage. Yeah, okay. Good. Let's try that again. There we go. Okay, those guys know we're here. Let's close the door again. Good, good, very good. Moving back into full cover. And we got a really safe position here. We got six enemies on this side. Now another two are incoming. I'm somewhat hoping that we're not going to fight, need to fight through all of them because that's pretty much going to suck. All right, let's open the door. Hello, how's it going? Long time not seen. Yeah, you're all right. Wonderful. Um, how about you taste the blade? Oh, fantastic. That worked out well. We can see it close the door. Unfortunately, uh, he also destroyed it bit of the wall right there we can hit him I think that will disorient him and potentially also hit the other uh, guy so might as well want to do that Didn't fully work out. Yeah, we we will require maximum damage on the next attack, elsewise it's gonna look bad. There is a good chance that we can do that. Unfortunately, not good enough. All right, yeah, we can't really do much about it. We have already had um, units over here, so the zombie would eventually um, move up to us. We're hunkering down. Uh, it's the only unit that they can see. This is unfortunate with the zombie. Really unfortunate. But like I said, there wasn't really much that we can do. Could have moved one unit to here and hunker down. So that the zombie has a worse chance to actually hit. Maybe that is a shot. Maybe that is a shot. If he panics, there is a chance that he will take a shot. All right, that at least solves the problem with the zombie. Shot into half cover, that's good. That's good. And some overwatch. Okay, so far so good. I mean... Question is, where is Firebrand's evac evacuation zone? Oh, that's a good question. Oh, we're, go we're there. Okay, fair enough. That's why the Overwatch was starting to happen. Seer cam. Uh, minimum damage, that's not good. Buddy, that is not good. A 
Again, let's close the door. First of all, we gotta trigger the Overwatch. Alright, Overwatch is successfully triggered. Now this is an option to remove the panic. Because with him dying, the panic should go away. Perfect. All right. And let's move up. Very good. So next round we can extract. Perry. Our VIP already will be extracted because there's no reason not to. And we're hunkering down. She's going to be the main target. All right, let's uh, take a final look. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of reinforcements now. Four. Oh, that's a pretty beefy pack. We picked up a lull in their forces. It looks like they're running out of reinforcements. Let's get moving. Before All right, that might be deadly for her. luckily not and let's give hawkbite here just one more kill very nice and oh boy we can't evac him oh. That's not good. All right, charging. Target down. Running. Zirkim, Roby. Yeah. Let's make the decision to give it a go and evac every everybody short of Diva. It's a good chance that we're going to survive, but maybe he's going to take a shot. Matter of the fact is we can't stay here for like prolonged amounts of time. Okay, cool. That worked out well. I think it was even a flawless mission. Yeah, cool. Very good. Wonderful. Time to land. So we got a couple of promotions, which is fantastic. And as you might have guessed, all of them are going into Blade Master because that means uh, with extra sword attacks, we're looking at plus 2 damage and plus 10 aim. Holy shit. I was always under the impression it's plus one damage. Why is it plus two? Well, doesn't matter. It's no longer three to five. It's five to seven. And that means a massive, massive boost in our um, in our damage output. Also, finally, hopefully no, not as many misses anymore. And if we're continuing to go down here, we will even get more out of it. PCS agility is great as well. Got an engineer, got 88 intel. That's exactly what we were looking for. I will put the engineer here. 
because I want the training center sooner than later. In terms of bonding... Commander, each of our soldiers has a unique relationship with their squad mates. As they could go for together, Roby plus Hawkbite. You know what? We're going to do that. Why not? I think that that is Commander, a pretty... Pretty nice uh, setup, Roby, long time legend on this channel, and Hawkbite, certainly the legend of uh, the solo run. So yeah, that works out well. I don't want to bond anyone with a sharpshooter, that really doesn't uh, make any sense. Not sure why Hawkbite is now ready, ready. Like, he was tired and now he's ready, like, how is that working? But all of these guys are tired. But we got overly aggressive with Hawkbite, negative trade. Ah, that is unfortunate. Still, it was a good mission. And we got enough intel plus what's our time? 21 days. That means we have plenty of time to do everything. Supplies are good, but we don't need that yet. I would much rather like to go and make contact here that'll complete the continent and we only need a, a tower then in order to get the continent bonus commander we've utilized all of our available communications capacity we can't establish any new contacts until we upgrade our all right we know that that is the viper uh, king be prepared before we try to take it out. And we got a couple of targets available. So another engineer, which would be fantastic, and undying loyalty. Oh boy, that here is seems like the mission that we should be doing, quite frankly. Got another ranger and a hidden event. Also not bad, and the losts. But I think what we're going to do is going for that extra engineer. To be honest, that is too good to pass by because then we would be m miraculously at four engineers. So the game is really helping us out. The factions could use a place to coordinate Almost got the training center done, which is also nice. Plated armor in 12 days. So things are really starting to look up. And we got another uh, specialist. How is the tiredness? Uh, we probably need to take you guys onto the missions regardless. At least one or two. I mean, we got a ranger here with Halop. Maybe we're going ranger, ranger, Templar. Is that going to be enough? Maybe. If you only have one squad, it... The prospects aren't super good. We can, you know what? We can Templar Specialist Ranger. That's three people that can deal damage. Maybe we're taking Roby because he is the bond mate of Hawkbite. That will give them a chance to intensify their bond. No problem in taking the Sharpshooter again. Why not? And Renman can also um, be part of the mission. So. Yeah, then we do have a bit of dead weight. We could take Renvin instead of the sharpshooter and to level him. Yeah, I'll figure it out eventually. In terms of engineering, not much that we can do at this uh, point. Like I said, probably saving the supplies for an armor upgrade. So that's okay. Yeah, and we can't really speed that up. Yep, yeah, we're uh, at a good point, but there is still room for improvement. Uh, this here needs to be our next building slot so that we can upgrade uh, the uh, upgrade our uh, energy a bit. And we're probably going to look into resistance ring next because it only takes two energy, then energy, then um, then. Uh, radio relay for additional capacity because I want to expand quite a bit and make sure that we can counter um, what's going on and have enough um, income. So 
and then the next two are probably going to be Psy um, chambers to, yeah, to train Psy operatives. Maybe one at the beginning and then we'll eventually get a second one. Okay, cool. That brings us to the end of today's episode. A short and sweet one, but uh, nonetheless a good one. I hope you enjoyed what you were seeing. If you did, then first of all, consider hitting that subscribe button because that uh, helps the channel. And secondly, leave a comment down below because that will promote the videos. Uh, you would do me a solid if you would do that. And uh, we're seeing each other in two days. Take care. Bye-bye.